Hello and welcome to another episode of the Abon Life Insider Tips. This time we're still on the default presets and we're talking about the default presets that you can create for MIDI or audio tracks. So let's do it with an audio track. Um, what I always like to use in pretty much any track really is an EQ8. So I'm going to add the EQ8 and I already made a default preset so that I can simply drag the folder over here and have my default preset of the EQ8 in there. And then let's say maybe also a compressor. Let's take the glue compressor. Yeah, let's just take the default. Okay, so now that you've got all the devices in that you want to have in the track whenever a new track is created is you know you make sure that everything's set all the parameters are set the way you want and once you've done that you can right click on a track title and choose save as default audio track it works the same way with the mini track except you can add also MIDI effects and instruments. So if there is anything that you pretty much want to use every time, then put those in, set the parameters the way you want them, and then right click on the track title and choose save as default MIDI track. And here in the user library now on the defaults, and then creating tracks, we now have an audio track folder and this is the preset. So now when I create a new audio track those two effects are already in there with the preset that I set. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you're new to Ableton Live or Push then check out my online video courses more information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.